I figured out about the mounts, you have to buy the books. So the summon comes. Um, you buy them from Dragon's Reach, and I got a few. Um, so mount, I got an armored gazelle, and I've seen it and looks really cool. So I can't try wait to try that out. I also got a cave lion, so I can just summon it. Um, a, a cougar and an Eurasian lynx. So I thought, just in case I don't have, you know, room for, one of the same um, kind you, I'm glad you know, a mount, instead of just getting all those guys, I can just get this, which is so cool. And you know what? Just looking at it, it reminds me of the goats that, um, in The Hobbit, I think it was Lisa Caesar Extended Edition, what they rode. And I don't know why, it just reminds me of that. Um, so I did dismiss my erasion. Is it erasion? Yeah, I can see him right here. Oh, but the lynx is gone. The Canadian lynx, but the other lynx isn't here. That's a bit weird. Okay. Don't know. I don't know why that's happened. And the wolves moved. Oh, so they just randomly moved. Okay. Oh, hello. Wait, no. Oh yeah, little fox. So they've moved around a little bit. I mean, the fawn's there, but the male deer's ma ma male deer's there. But the reindeer isn't here. So I don't know what's going on with that. Anyway, where's my gazelle? This is the first time I'm going to ride it, and I'm so excited. Okay, ready? Oh my goodness, you're fast. Oh, here we go. Here's an encounter. I got a mod called More War in the Wild. Because I felt like you just didn't see any compared to what people were saying. And look what this is, guys. It's War in the Wild. Yeah. I feel like the gazelle's a bit small. But I don't know if it's just me with my legs hanging off. Anywho, uh, oh, hello. Foreigners, what a nuisance. They thought I was some other Red Guard woman. They uh, just wouldn't we leave me we alone. See what they were talking I about. hope they That's get lost good. in their wilderness. Okay, right, uh, let's go in here. So, they'll, I'm not going to try and pronounce that. Boy, uh, okay. Oh. Okay, so my mount just comes in with me. That's something I gotta keep Here's an eye. <laughs> Get an axe and bring me all the wood you can chop. My business is falling apart. My apprentice never listens to me, and now there's talk of dragons. If I hadn't sunk every bit of gold I had into my mill, I would have picked up and left Iverstead long ago. The Greybeards stay away from me, and I stay away from them. Suits me just fine. Are you kidding? Those damn things will drive me right out of business. Tell you what, bring me ten of their pelts from anywhere in Skyrim. I'll gladly pay you for thinning out the herd. Have you ever seen what a bear does to the trees? They jump on their hind legs and scratch them to bits, marking their territory or something. It's getting to the point where I have to scour Skyrim for untouched trees at the right size. Cost me too much time and money. Now go give those stupid bears what's coming to them. Uh, okay. What do you need? We're looking for information about a woman. I'll tell you. A foreigner in these lands. If I could sweep her the Red Guard discuss. We believe she may be hiding in Whiteburn, but we're checking everywhere to be sure. Mm-hmm. Follow your heart. Perhaps one day, but not today. Why is there a chicken deck on the floor? <laughs> you don't look like a pilgrim. Why bother visiting Iverstead? I'm definitely not coming here for you. Clinic brings food supplies up to them once every few weeks, when the weather permits it. Other than that, they seem like a quiet lot. Don't really know too much about them. <sighs> what a boring conversation. Ugh, telling me. Pardon me, my lady. Would you care to hear me play my lute? 
I've always fancied a journey up the 7,000 steps to the monastery. Anything to break the boredom of living in this town. I envy you. I play the lute. If you'd like to hear something, it only costs five gold. Why, thank you. You're very kind. Still interested? Thank you, milady. Damn, get back. If I were you, I'd keep away from the barrow on the east side of town. It's haunted. The Greybeards are a solitary lot. I don't think they've ever ventured outside their monastery. We get the occasional pilgrim passing through here on their way to the summit, but almost all of them have returned disappointed. There ain't much more to tell. They're haunted, and you should stay away. Look, I've seen one of the spirits with my very own eyes. When it glared at me, I swear it burned right through my soul. Fortunately, they seem to be sticking to the barrow. I think they're guarding it. Certainly isn't helping my business any. Who'd want to rent a room anywhere near a haunted barrow? If you think there's anything you can do, be my guest. About a year or two ago, some fella named Windelius came through. Said he was some kind of a treasure hunter. I warned him not to go in there, just like I warned you. The very next night, we heard screams from the barrow, and that was it. We never saw him again. Uh, I've got no interest in magic using. No use for their kind at all. They're way up north in Winterhold, and that's fine with me. I don't even like our Jarl having a court wizard. If you pass through again, stop by for a drink. Okay, so it's kind of Pardon me, my lady. Boy. Would you care to hear me play my loot? I gave you five gold to play. You haven't even played. Robbery. Excuse me, I'm trying to thank you. Gosh, rude. Right, who lives here? Klimek. Okay. Uh, I need to find Klimek. That might be a good thing. Um, let's go for it. Oh. I can't see you, Raider. I can't find you. Where are you hiding? Hiding? Hide, hide, hide. Don't make me sad. Raiden was here, then gone. Went to gather plants and never came home. Nope, nope. Everyone looked and no one could find her. Wilhelm said she'll be back. Told Arthur not to worry. Raida will come back. With father I said goodbye. With mother I said goodbye. Raida leaves and Narvi can't say goodbye. Makes Narvi very, very sad. Narvi needs Raida to say goodbye. Oh, thank you. Divine bless your kind heart. The mountain will eat you. Watch the mountain. The mountain will eat me. Um, okay. <laughs> right, we need to find Klimek. Wherever he is. Uh, hello. The dog is driving me crazy. So forgive me if I'm a bit on edge. They call it the path to the monastery the seven thousand steps. Can you imagine? I'm not certain if I could even make it to the top without collapsing from exhaustion. Get out of town as fast as you can. Nothing for anyone. Oh, you're a traveler. You must have so much to tell about the world outside this boring town. The Greybeards are a strange bunch. I heard they lived their entire life without uttering a single word. Can you even imagine? I wish I could go with you. <sighs> you must be another pilgrim on the way up to High Hrothgar. No other reason to pass through here. It's frightening living below their monastery. 
Sometimes I swear I can hear strange noises rolling down from up there. It sounds like thunder, but there's never any rain. What do you make of that? Sure, leave. Everyone else does. Oh, it's a bit rude. Where is Klimek? You're not Klimek. Don't care about you. Uh. Oh, hello. Hello, my friend. What can I do for you on such a fine day? I always thought it was odd that there's a layer of thick clouds covering the peak of the mountain above the monastery. Huh. Not sure what's up there. But I bet the Greybeards know. Probably the Greybeards. <laughs> oh wait, no. I'm an idiot. I just realized. <laughs> God's sake. Ah. My father taught me an important lesson many years ago. He said, Willen, you have the whole world before you. Go out and experience it. Be whatever you want to be. So I took his advice, and here I am. This life might not look like much to you, but I'm content. And isn't that all that matters? Have yourself a great day, 